thought of questioning what immense financial resources Xavier must have to uphold this super secret prison. Instead, I'll question Mystique's bargain. I'm pretty sure Juggernaut murdering Xavier was not approved by Magneto. A boatload of sins for this wasteful B plot distracting from the Juggernaut A plot. It's amazing and frustrating how often they undercut compelling storylines on this series with this high school cliche shit. Is the Brotherhood here anyway? Is this summer detention camp? So take a good look at these background students since you'll never see them again in this episode. Let's go! Damn it. Forgot about these seizure segues. And I'll sneak you out of this horrible prison where. Now, who was it that locked you away? Oh, that's right. Your brother, Charles Xavier. Didn't we already see this discussion? Wake up, Kane. It's time you had a long overdue family reunion with your brother, Charles Xavier. Yeah, I thought so. So I think he knows what his brother's name is. I arrange your early release and you deliver to me one item in your brother's possession. His mutant detection system known as Cerebro. What would Mac need a wall with Cerebro anyway? He doesn't seem to have any problem finding whatever mutants he needs in this series. Discovery. Enhanced mutant signature. Identity confirmed. What's an enhanced mutant signature? He possessed an X-gene at birth, but he was dormant most of his life. So he awakened it with mysticism. Having Juggernaut be a mutant in this series is not a problem per se, just very different. However, if you're going to expound how his mutant powers were triggered by mysticism, why not just keep the super-powered human origin for him? Also, if Juggernaut was wearing his anti-telepathy helmet, how would Cerebro detect him? And efforts to locate this powerful convict have been hampered by the unexpected appearance of dense inland fog. Let's go to Haley Taylor for more on this strange weather. Very good, Storm. Keep it up. If no one can see Kane, then no one will be foolish enough to try and recapture him. Juggernaut doesn't seem to have any problem seeing his way towards the X-Mansion, though. Supervision is not one of his handful of powers, is it? Do you have any defense against him at all? Just one. My mind. With enough psychic blasts, I can disable him. Unless he's wearing his helmet. If Charles subdued Juggernaut by himself initially and Juggernaut had his helmet on, how'd Charles remove it to attack him psychically? I need to even acknowledge this shitty B-plot again, but... Kurt's hollow watch just disappeared and reappeared, which I think deserves mention. We're King Dead! Oh, come on, don't leave us down here, man! Not for some stupid flag! We won't! Ah, shit, another one? Hmm, I expected better. What does she mean by better? You lumbering imbecile! What did you do? Sit on Cerebro? You smashed it! What happened to our deal? You never even shook on it, so... I don't think there is any valid deal being broken here. X-Men, Professor X is in danger, and so is Mystique. Up to it? Let's go! Yeah, just expose the X-Jet to a human outsider. I'm sure he'll never grow suspicious or anything. These x teens get back right before Juggernaut finally can get his hands on Xavier, even if he was taking his sweet time to finally get him. Also, when these Brotherhood guys get their battle gear. I've covered this point already, but seriously, this Juggernaut fight only takes about 90 seconds in this 20 minute episode. 90 goddamn seconds! Being said, this fight could have ended a lot sooner if Jean just telekinetically removed Juggernaut's helmet instead of having four or five other mutants take turns trying to pull it off. You can't control the will of others, Charles. They do what they want. That's bullshit. Mesmero and Mastermind control the wills of several mutants in this series. Xavier is more powerful than both of them, so why not erase Juggernaut's memories or induce some kind of mind control on him? You'll do similar things later on in this series, and I think this case supersedes ethical debate. <laughs>